Hi everybody, I hope you're all doing well. I am connecting with Archangel Lucifer today. I'm not gonna do any big introductions, I'm just gonna relax here and get tuned in and see what message that he has for all of us today. Okay. So the first thing I see, there's quite a ring of white light and it's coming towards me. There's darkness in the center of it. So I see this light that's coming towards me, but it's outlining darkness and it's just still coming towards me. It hasn't hit me in the face yet, but it feels like it should have already. It should be literally hitting me in my third eye or in my forehead. And he keeps really emphasizing this dark tube. And it seems like space to me. It does not seem like it has its own density or it is a tunnel. But it does kind of outline it as though it has structure, that it is some sort of tube. But it's just darkness. It's just space. And this ring is, is going, is sort of outlining space and is coming towards me. There's something intriguing here about time and our perception of when things are going to happen. So he's showing me how this ring should have hit me in my face. I mean, it's literally going to hit me in my third eye. It's like perfect size for a third eye. I mean, it's really there. And it hasn't yet. And I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. It's so close. Why hasn't it hit me? Why hasn't it hit me yet? There's something intriguing here about our perception of what time it is. And how quickly something needs to happen. And why hasn't it happened yet? And so on this spectrum, where do you fit in? In this perspective of your own relationship with events happening for you or not yet happening for you. He keeps showing me the same image and he just replays and replays and replays and replays and replays and replays and replays over and over and over again and the ring never hits me. And I can't necessarily say that I care <laughs> if the ring hits me Okay, well, I guess a ring hits me. I don't really know what this ring means. And the ring hasn't hit me. So I'm kind of expecting it to, but it's not. And there's nothing really additional to say about that. Other than the image looks like this. And Archangel Lucifer is showing me how our mind becomes so focused on these perceptions that we forget where our heart's focus is. And even the third eye is expecting to be hit with some event. And the eyes that see are also expecting this. So it seems to be interconnected with the human realm and the spirit realm. And it's all related to the mind and the face and above the head. So it's all related to this type of mind wisdom. But never once has the inspiration been to simply stop. Stop looking at the white circle. Stop looking at this ring. Close your eyes and explore what is within your heart. What is it that we are trying to see? What is it that we want to see? What is our idea of when these things should happen? What is delaying things? He says, this is all of the mind, all of the mind and the face and the eyes and the third eye and all of the mind. But if we close our eyes and even close our minds to these types of thoughts, we clear them like dirt on a windshield and we get centered with our heart and now we will see or find or experience something different. It 
it's all slowing down quite substantially, this desperation to understand what does this mean? What does this look like? What is this about? When is this going to happen? Why hasn't happened yet? Mind, 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 mind. When, when, why, why, what, what, what? It's all slowing down now, quieting down now. And Lucifer would like to know if you came here to live in your mind or if you came here to live in your heart. And do you know the difference? And if you were to describe the difference, what would that sound like to you? Would your heart even perceive the same thing that your mind is perceiving? Or would it be totally different? What is lacking in your life that you must go to the mind instead of the heart? He shows me how loud the mind can be. And when he shows me this, I see what is like a brain full of the alphabet. <laughs> like it's full of the alphabet, lots of letters everywhere. And they get scrambled so you can't even understand what the words are. It's just a bunch of alphabet. And it just keeps swirling and duplicating and duplicating and swirling and getting more and more and more. And now our sight is on trying to understand this alphabet in our mind. And it's so loud and it's getting our attention. But it's actually distracting us from what matters most, which is our heart. Do you know the difference between being in your mind or being in your heart? So Archangel Lucifer shows me that he's coming here and he's got what is like um, nets for um, getting fish out of the water. And he's scooping the alphabet out of my mind to help clear my mind. So there's nothing else to think about. There's only things to feel about. It's a way I could put that. If you were to take the events in your life and stop thinking about them, if you were to take the events in your life and start feeling about them, what would those feelings reveal to you? Would they reveal sadness, anger, confusion, embarrassment? Oftentimes, it's the harder emotions that we get stuck in the mind about. The joyful ones, why worry? <laughs> it feels joyful and that's the only way I want it to be. But when we feel the other emotions, how do we move through them and understand them and understand our relationship with them and the purpose of those emotions in our life? It's not the purpose of those thoughts, it's the purpose of those emotions. And he's showing me the value of actually sitting with your emotions, feeling them. Why does it hurt without thinking about it other than feeling about it? It's all getting quiet. The sounds of the mind are muted. And I see a human being that is, well, it looks like an oversized baby, like a baby that is the size of an adult and is wearing a diaper in the dark. And they're crying. And they're holding their heart in grief and sadness. They're crying alone. And there is no mom or dad that comes to pick you up and rock you to sleep. Because now you 
or the adult that has to process this, that has to understand this inside yourself for yourself. And I see Archangel Lucifer weeps because he can't reach this, he can't reach this one today. He shows me this human being locking themselves inside, but not unlocking themselves. Not sure how to unlock themselves. Not sure how to stand up again. And as I speak these words, I'm seeing a different version of an experience. The same, but an impressive transformation. No longer is this adult in a diaper, but now is standing, still quite vulnerable, but standing naked. And this adult says, how am I supposed to know which way to go if I'm not supposed to think about it? And now everything becomes very confusing for the human who cannot think about their life and their pathway. So Archangel Lucifer turns the light on in the mind. And the human who has gone into the emotions and the pains of the heart now leaves this dark space and then comes back into the light of the mind. And I see the human looks in the mirror and puts makeup on in order to put their face on. And they appear happy. And the spotlight is upon them. <sighs> this is a complex message because the mind has created quite a bright experience, but in another version of time, that baby has not been reconciled. It's just been muted now instead of the mind being muted. So now we have the challenge of what do we do when life hurts, when we're overthinking, we clear the mind and we allow ourselves to feel and explore the voice within our heart. But what happens when we become too in a state of painful emotions and we lock ourselves inside and not allow love in to help us? Now we return to the mind and we just get back. The show is on the road. But how do we reconcile that energy that brought you into the feelings and exploring the direction of the heart. And Archangel Lucifer smiles and he says, this is what it means to be human. It means all of these things. It means expecting something to happen that never happens. Getting lost in the alphabet of the mind that never formulates an answer. Going into the emotions of the heart and feeling hurt and disconnected and lost. And unable to hear the voice of the heart anymore as we return to the mind. And a new day, another day, the show is on the road. Again and again and again. And I say to Archangel Lucifer that there's still something missing here in this conversation because it's based on too much heartache 
because the heart doesn't just carry aches. It also carries something more special than that. It carries something far more special than that, which is spirit. Hmm. He shows me that everything we've seen thus, thus far is very much so what is at the surface of our experience. But what is beneath the surface of our experience? This is very heavy for me because it's like I can feel can feel the experience of sorrow and disconnect. But I know there is the experience of absolute abundant love and free will that can also be intriguing, delightful, meaningful, hard. So I'm asking Archangel Lucifer more about the light side. We're really getting an effect of the hardness, the natural process of being human, <laughs> but it doesn't always hurt like this. And perhaps there's some advice on how to get out of that rut and Archangel Lucifer shows me that we need to return to the emotions again. And we need to sit with them for a while. We need to feel what it is to be human. We need to feel what it is to be our choices. To be the people that we are in the way that we are. And within our emotions, there is the access of something the mind cannot provide. This is still quite complicated because when is it enough? When is feeling enough? Or perhaps that is the point. Perhaps we are denying ourselves our feelings, our true feelings. Perhaps we just want to live in a world where we can just see things and not feel things. Hope, perceive in the mind's eye what doesn't need to be felt today. So I'm going to disconnect from this message and I want to see what other messages we can access because I want to get to a different side of the challenge, but perhaps that is the message that we need to contemplate right now. It shows me a heart that is turning into a rose um, in bloom. And I can see the rose blooming from being closed to being completely open with many, many petals. I see um, there is the experience of smelling a rose and rose as a reflection of romance and love. Hmm. 
It remains on this image. It just lingers on this image. There's something still he's trying to tell me and I haven't quite figured it out yet. And it has to do with the human race and our way of being. There's a wall up. And I see the wall on my, let's see, it's on my right side. <laughs> And I don't face this wall and I don't climb over it. I just walk alongside it. He shows me when you're ready to face the walls. You're going to have to learn how to climb. You might not like what you see on the other side of that wall. So how are you going to navigate it? It's you that put the wall there. What are you protecting yourself from inside yourself? He says, do you know what walls that you've put up? I see the human stops and decides to face this wall. And now the wall challenges the human and it takes shape and takes form in many different ways. Sometimes the human will create a very simple door and just walk through it as though it wasn't even there. But sometimes the human looks at the wall and it becomes a big monster. It becomes a doorway to a terrible place that they get lost in it. Hmm. So I'm changing things. I see this human challenged by their wall and I give this human a heart. And I say, I know this will help you even if you have to face this one alone. And I see myself go to the human that is in the room with the diaper on and I give this person a heart and I say, I know this will help. And you don't have to do this alone. And then I clear all the darkness away and I transform this ring into a heart shape. And I say, love is already within you, so it doesn't matter how long it takes for it to arrive. You don't have to wait for love. You don't have to expect love to be here any minute now because you already are it. And if you are not love, then what are you? And what do you know about love? And how are you going to understand what your balance is with love if you're in your mind? And because love isn't with your ego, love isn't guiding you in the easiest direction possible. Love is allowing you to explore love's meaning inside yourself and to take that meaning and to feel a part of it
Do you feel a part of love's meaning? And is love's meaning just an alphabet in your mind? Or do you actually have to become a part of your feelings in order to experience love's meaning? Love's meaning may just be this wall you're afraid to face. In order to become someone you never thought you could ever be because you faced your fears. And Archangel Lucifer is asking us this is hard because it's challenging. He's asking us about love's meaning on earth. If we explore love's meaning on an individual level, that is one thing. What does love's meaning look like for our planet? And could our planet be pristine as it is? Is our planet in pain and love's meaning is now pain that needs to be felt in order for it to be released is now walls that we do not want to face but love's meaning continues to welcome us to try It's a hard look. And I show Archangel Lucifer that I can change things. And I place a heart upon the earth and it gives everybody a chance. But what is that chance exactly? Is it just another idea? Is it a longing to help, to heal? a pretty intense message because it feels so much and because it's really hard and it's how hard it is to be human and how much of this message was really devoted toward healing that There's something to this. How do we turn this inside out? How do we create love's meaning in a way where we are smelling the roses instead of afraid, putting up walls and then not facing those walls and just whistling down a sidewalk like everything is fine? Just living in the alphabet of our mind, getting ready for another day. Hmm. All right. Hmm. It's pretty heavy. <sighs> Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> and if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, Please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Okay, thank you again, and I hope you all have a great day.